thanks to all patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me uh, i'll be releasing project files to my patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members for details please check link in description thank you hello everyone this is mr bus welcome back to my channel so uh, in previous video we made a, a very simple door uh, where uh, when player enters the box collision the door will open but we don't want this to happen in all the cases but uh, as uh, we want to go near the door uh, press an interact key and after that the, the, the door should open so we will take care of that in this video so to do that first open the third person player character here uh, okay first we need to add an uh, input for that I'll go to third person input actions create a new input action ia underscore interact so we will use this uh, to uh, call the interact event and then the door should open then go to the imc default here add the new uh, input action that we have created and for this uh, let me give uh, e. You can give. You can basically give any key you want. Now go back to the third person player character. Create an event dispatcher. Interact. Now uh, open this. Now. Uh, call this event when this is pressed. Okay. Now, uh, what we have set is uh, when we call this interact, uh, so what we have set is when the interact key is pressed, it will uh, it will do an event dispatcher interact to all the blueprints that we have in the game. So wherever we bind an uh, event to this uh, interact uh, event dispatcher, that will get executed. Okay, let's uh, do the next step. So now come to your door space. Uh, we'll have to change this logic a bit. Before that, on begin play, so cast to third person character. The character, then promote this to a variable. Character reference. The player character. and bind even to interact so this is the event dispatcher that we have created uh, before that uh, we can also check whether the player character is the one that has entered the uh, begin overlap so uh, we have we we have this other actor uh, pin here so check this if it is equal to the player character So now uh, create a custom event. We just test it with the print string. I didn't compile the third person uh, third third person character. That's the reason it was not picking up. So once compiled, it's all good. Play this. Now, when we enter the collision box, nothing happens. And when I press the enter key, the door open door uh, text comes. 
So which means when I press the a key, when I'm near the door, the event is being passed. But when I am outside the door also, my E key works. So to avoid that, go to your door base. On uh, the box collision component, add an event on component end overlap. So which means when the player character is outside the box collision box, what do you need to do? So here, again, I can do a check whether it is player character. The branch and take this player character again and bind all events from interact. When you press, nothing happens, you go to the door. You press C, door open, uh, print string is there. When you come out of it, you press C, nothing happens. So that's it. that's what is expected. <laughs> Fine. Now, how to make this door to open when uh, we press C? We already have the logic for that. So just move this here and remove this print string and connect the C one T P. Now let's test this. Okay. So what has happened? The player enters the box collision, presses C, the door opens. Okay. To make this look a bit better, Okay, this looks better. Okay, this this looks good. Uh, but uh, how will the player know that this door opens? So we we'll, we we'll need to add a widget uh, to show. So that we will see it in the next video. If you do like this content, please subscribe to my channel and let me know your feedbacks in comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.